Hello everyone, welcome to another 2D Photography Inc. Aperture 3.0 tutorial. Today we are going to use the saturation brush in Aperture to keep our background black and white and our subjects in color. So let's open Aperture and we're going to start. I'm going to show you an image first of the setup of the shot we took. Uh, here's the shot. Um, so you can see the setup. The camera was the light was roughly about 12 feet away and 15 feet high. And uh, you know, before you actually start taking the shot, there's a few things that you obviously need. One, you're going to need a light. We used D4 400 watt Elenchrome lights, and it's set at full power, so it's set to, to shoot at 400 watts. We used an Alien B Vagabond 2 to power the light, really handy little thing. You're going to need something or someone to help you hold the light up. In this case, it's my assistant Brendan, and you're going to need some subjects. And uh, obviously, there are a couple. You're also gonna need a bridge, so yeah, get get a bridge too. All right. Now let's go to the image that we actually shot. Here's the image, and uh, you know uh, we'll give you the stats here first. Uh, we shot at f10, one two hundredth of a second, ISO 125, 14 to 24, 2.8 lens. We shot at 14 millimeters on the Nikon D3S, and the image is deliberately overexposed because we want our subjects to be a little bit brighter than the background, and we're gonna get that done later on by sort of lowering the, lowering the exposure. First things first, we're gonna get rid of some dots. Maybe you can't see them, but there's a little bird, and it's bugging me. So you hit X, get your retouch repair tool, and uh, well, it's pretty simple. Just bam. Bye bye bird. That bird will not bother us anymore. There's also uh, some people back here that are really bothering me. So we're gonna use our clone tool, these people. And we're gonna, we can't use the retouch obviously because, so we're gonna use the clone tool. And we're gonna clone and stamp these, uh, these annoying runners or joggers, whatever they are, out of the photo. Uh, I'm not going to give you this whole process because it, it's going to take me about uh, 30 seconds or so. We'll just save that time. So I'll start it here and I'll, I'll fast forward a second or two once I start. Line it up. All right. And just about done. And eh, we got a bit of a, a shirt, but for the tutorial, that's okay. So. We're done with the retouch tool. Next, let's lower that exposure. So we start, we go down, take it about, you know, until you feel comfortable with it. Uh, I'm, 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 like in, I'm like in this range here. We're gonna increase the black point a little bit in aperture. Uh, this is a feature that I really like. It gives some accents to the darker part of the images. Um, it's similar to what contrast might do, but it only focuses on the dark parts. So we'll increase, and we'll also increase the contrast. I like the I like this HUD better, so we're gonna use this. Uh, you can push H on in aperture to get that up. And increase the contrast right there. All right. And lastly, well, not lastly, but second to lastly, uh, I'm gonna do something you may not think of. We're gonna trick aperture into getting a black and white image. We're gonna use a color monochrome. And we're going to use this tan color here, and we're doing it deliberately because it's matching a lot of the color that's in the subjects that we want to keep, like their skin and the khaki shorts. So we're going to put this color monochrome on. We're going to apply it, and we're going to decrease the value. And what this tan is also going to do is it's going to balance out the blue in the sky. And we're going to get close to what we want as our final goal here. We're going to get an almost black and white background, but it's still got some color to it. And the reason for this is it's going to make our desaturation of the background a lot easier. We don't have to be as precise. And, um, well, you'll see, hopefully you'll see at the end. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it on for now. And we'll start with the saturation brush. So we get our saturation brush. Make sure the, uh, the color overlay is on so you can see what you're doing. Decrease the softness a bit. Maybe we'll increase it to there to start with, and we'll increase the brush size and we'll just start painting. You can see exactly what you're doing. It's okay if you get a little close to the subjects, you can always erase this brush. It's a really nice feature in Aperture 3. And 
I think I could do this a little faster if I wasn't giving the tutorial. I gotta be honest, but only a few seconds. So let's try and get into the nitty gritty parts. We'll uh, get a little closer. Oh, I got her hand up a little bit, but we'll uh, we'll go back and we'll use the erase tool and we'll fix that. Now because we use that color monochrome, we don't have to be 100% accurate. The difference using, and especially because we're using some softness on the brush here, the difference between the black and white when we desaturate and the color monochrome is going to be fairly negligible. Uh, and you can do this in Photoshop, but I like to I like to keep everything in in aperture. It's it's a nice tool, and some people don't know you can do these things. And it, it honestly, doesn't take too long. Whereas exporting and then opening up app, uh, or opening up Photoshop. That's too much work for me. So, we're almost done here. We're just gonna fill in what we can. Get in as, as tight as we can. Make the brush size a bit bigger. We're gonna increase the softness and just do a little bit more. Ah, we got his hair. But his hair is black, so. Okay, that's good to me. We'll just, uh, we'll just use the erase tool. We'll zoom in, hit Z in aperture to zoom in. And we'll uh, we'll erase we'll, we'll decrease the softness all the way, and we'll just erase the parts that we really don't want to take color away from when we use the saturation function. We'll get his hair anyway, just for the sake of it. But that's pretty much it. So you can hit Z again to zoom out. We can get rid of the color overlay. Hit Z. Oh, I thought I got rid of you. Okay, it's gone. And we will lower that saturation. And now we have a nice looking black and white image with uh, color subjects. And you can see the difference it makes when we play with the uh, saturation and the color monochrome. And you see that? I don't know if you can see that. But I can. So, there you have it. Pretty simple. We'll just uh, align this just ever so slightly and we'll crop it too. I'm a little, uh, I like to, if I have a somewhat symmetric image, I prefer to keep it symmetric if I can. So we're just going to crop it ever so slightly here. Make it look like I'm a better photographer than I am. And there we go. I think this is a winner. I like this shot a lot. Hopefully my clients will too. The big difference from the master. You can see the end result. Uh, kind of an epic photo. Looks like they're uh, at the end of the world here. And uh, we'll go into a full size view in a second. There you go. Good image. So it was pretty easy. Uh, we used Aperture 3 and the Saturation Brush to get this effect. And we also used the Color Monochrome. And, uh, and that's about all. So thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for some further tutorials to come.